Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your channel endpoints in Betaflight for your Tyrannus X9D. Betaflight relies on specific values for the endpoints and midpoints on each of your stick channels. And these aren't necessarily the same as the values you might see on the display of your transmitter. Betaflight is designed to expect 1000 as the minimum value, 1500 as the midpoint value and 2000 as the maximum value. And if these are off, you may end up with odd drifting or your quad may not arm or reach full deflection on roll pitch and yaw. And you may not be able to get full throttle. I'll show you how to check and set these in a minute, but first it's worth calibrating the sticks on your Tyrannus especially if it's a new radio or you've changed your gimbals. Press and hold the menu button to get to the setup pages and then long press page to go back to page 9 to calibrate the sticks. All you then have to do is follow the on-screen instructions, centre the sticks and press enter and then waggle round both sticks to full deflection and press enter to finish. That's it sticks calibrated. So before we start, a bit of background. Betaflight and most other flight controller software is designed to work with certain max and min control values for each channel. And in the case of Betaflight it's a thousand to two thousand like this. Now these aren't going to be the actual values output by your transmitter, whatever you're using. You can change these beta flight values to match those on your radio, but it's lots of work. And it's generally much easier to change the values of your radio outputs to work with beta flight using its subtrims. And this is going to be true of any other radio you're using. I've generally found that Tyrannus radios tend to have control values in the range of about 950 at the bottom end up to 2011 at the top end and then the middle is somewhere around 1500 plus or minus 5 or 10. So what we're trying to do is to wind these values back from here to the values that Betaflight is expecting as its maximum. Now if you find that these values are way off what I've shown here, this might be because the transmitter sticks need calibrating or your trims aren't properly centred. So to set this up on your radio and on Betaflight you'll need to connect your quad to Betaflight with a USB lead, have your radio on and connected to your quad. And then connect to your quad in Betaflight. We go to the receiver tab and we start waggling the sticks around, we know that we're connected. And on this particular radio setup I've obviously got um, roll pitch, yaw and throttle. I've also got a mode switch here for the flight modes. I've got an arm switch and I've also got a buzzer switch as you can see. So let's tackle the roll um, control first. As you can see here, um, the centre point of roll is slightly off 1500 and as a result we've got a very gentle roll. So if you actually flew like this now, as it took off you would end up with it rolling um, one way or the other. So the first thing to do is to make sure that the centre points are set correctly with your sub trims. To do this is pretty straightforward, press menu and page, 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 page and this takes you to the subtrims page. As you'll notice here it says that the output is uh, 1511 which is slightly different from what you're seeing in Betaflight and to be honest the value on your transmitter you don't care about that what you are concerned with is what's actually happening in Betaflight because these are the values that are actually used to talk to your flight controller. And I can see why this is off because we've actually got uh, the centre point at uh, uh, 1511 and I don't know why that is but let's put it back to centre so you press enter 
minus 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 scroll across here press enter and then scroll down and you can see in beta flight that's coming down just keep scrolling down until it says 1500 in beta flight as it happens it says uh, 1501 in here that doesn't really matter because like I said before you're concerned about what beta flight is saying is the center point press exit to change that now let's see what's happening on full deflection so full left that's saying 988 and full right it's saying 2013 and we need to make those a thousand and two thousand so the way to do this is to scroll back to the minimum and the maximum settings and you'll see as you move the control here that the little arrow shows what channel you're dealing with so if you don't know what the channel number is then you can use that little arrow to tell but anyway you can see it in beta flight so the way to set up the minimum value is push this over to minimum and we can see that it says 1900 need a bit of fiddling around here press enter to change the value and scroll this and you can see that this is now moving up 998 and that's now at 1000 press enter to save it and let the control back to the center so now we've got the minimum setting at 1000 actually that's still slightly off so let's uh, tweak that a little bit more there we go and now we need to set the full right roll and in beta flight that's showing us 2013 so scroll across to the max value trim adjust press enter always press it the wrong way and keep pressing minus until you see on beta flight it comes down to 2000 like I say you, you don't care what the value is actually on your radio as it turns out it's exactly the same it's completely irrelevant it's beta flight the values in beta flight that are important press enter to accept that so now we've got 1500 as center point full left rail roll is a thousand a full right roll is 2000 that's it completely set you just need to do that for the other controls and you can scroll down to those using the plus and minus uh, arrow keys and although it's not quite so important for the aux channels the only thing that is really important is that you set it for your arm switch because you may find that the maximum value is too low or too high and it, your quad won't arm so let's go through and fix up all these other values go all our controls uh, center at uh, about 1500 a bit difficult to tell on the throttle I've done all three of my aux inputs and the maximum million values are a thousand and two thousand I don't worry too much if the center point is what it waver about very very slightly but um, it's not going to make too much difference to you that's it, all set up, nice and simple. Hopefully this has shown you why setting these channel endpoints is important and it's pretty easy to do. If you found that useful and want updates, please like and subscribe to the channel down here. It really does help me make better content for you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you next time.